Good morning, and welcome to the Return Homestead. It is already 83 degrees outside. With our heat index, we're almost 90. It's super humid. We're at 83% humidity. So I've got to get out and get some herbs gathered so I can get those drying. And then I've got sunflowers I need to transplant. The seeds were two years old, so I didn't think I would get good germination, but I did. So I'm going to start thinning those out. We are trying to grow extra food for our chickens, and they love the sunflower seeds. They grow super easy. They're good for your soil. So here we go. We don't have a lot of chamomile growing yet. Well, we have a lot growing, but we don't have many with flowers on them. But in the morning is the best time to pick these flowers. So I'm gonna start here. The next thing I'm gonna do is we've got catnip here. We use this in our nighttime tea and we're gonna go ahead and pull this. I've also got calendula that I need to take care of and marshmallow. So marshmallow is good. I use it in my floral rinses. It's also good for the uh, lungs. And my mullein is just gorgeous. So I harvest both the leaves and the flowers and I tincture it. This is my comfrey. I need to probably harvest some of this as well. And this is sage. I need to get that harvested. It's going to flower. I don't think that it, for me, it doesn't change the taste at all, but I need to get it harvested. Now this calendula here has already gone to seed. If you keep these cut off, they're cut and come again. So I'm gonna let this one go to seed and I'll put these up for next year. Because it's been so warm, I haven't been out here as often as I should. As you can see, I've got quite a bit going to seed. Now the bees are fighting me. They want the herb flowers. So I'm going to have to dodge in between bees. I don't do bugs. This is all catnip that I'm pulling now. Now on to sage.
You just want the lighter green leaves. I'm going to give this one a good haircut because it's already going to seed and I want to get more of the harvestable stuff. Next up is the mullein and marshmallow. The mullein, I'll do leaves and flowers. This one's dead. I'm gonna just chop and drop it. So I have lemon balm and lemon thyme here on the porch, and I'm going to harvest some of that. You want to harvest just above a couple leaves meat. So it looks like I got these herbs in just in time. You might hear thunder and lightning in the background and we're about ready to get hit with a severe thunderstorm. But I ended up with comfrey. I had some onions that were starting to bolt. I will make fermented onions out of those. I ended up with a lot of marshmallow. I'll use that in my hair tonics. I got lavender, uh, motherwort, another great herb, oregano, um, a lot of rosemary. This is great for your hair. You might look that up. I got some French thyme, whoops, basil. Spearmint, French thyme, and there goes the thunder. 
I got the mullein, lemon balm, lemon thyme, lots of sage, lots of lettuce leaf basil. So what I'll do with this is I'll chop it up, put it in a container with olive oil and put it in the freezer. You can use an ice cube tray. Um, it's great for dropping in soups or sauces. This is my catnip, and I got a lot of it. And it looks like, what else? And that looks like it. But this is a great first haul for herbs. I still have a lot coming, but in the meantime, we've been harvesting blackberries. I've got two gallons of those I got to process. I was gifted with some apples and I'm going to be making Mike's apple pie jam. So this is my herb harvest for today. You got to get out early in the morning. Somewhere in the bottom there, there's chamomile too. We don't have a lot going yet, and we drink a lot of chamomile tea. We add that to our bee balm and our catnip for night tea. I hope you get out and start growing your own herbs. I'm thrilled with this herb har harvest. I'm going to hang these in the pantry upside down from string to get them dried out, and that way I'll have them all winter long. I hope you go out and try to do some of this yourself. Thank you for watching, and as always, God bless, and bye-bye. Good morning and welcome to the Return Homestead. It is already 83 degrees outside. With our heat index, we're almost 90. It's super humid. We're at 83% humidity. So I've got to get out and get some herbs gathered so I can get those drying. And then I've got sunflowers I need to transplant. 